Hi, thanks for joining me for another ElectroStim video. Today I'm going to talk through the new features that we're introducing to Axis with the 1.2 update. This is available now, so you just need to head to our website to download the update software and update your unit at home. So some of you might have seen the video that I put out a few months ago with sneak peeks of what's coming in the 1.2 update. So this time I'm going to show you the finished version of the software and show you all of the features that we have introduced and how to make everything work. If you've never updated your Axis before, we have a really simple ElectroStim update utility that can be used on Windows 10 PCs and laptops. So head over to the link below where I'm going to do a video showing you exactly how to do this. It's really simple, but there are instructions that you need to follow and there is a sequence that you need to do. If you're a Mac user, unfortunately the software is not available for you right now, but there is a way for you to update your Axis, still for free, it's just a little bit more involved. So the biggest feature that I have mentioned before that we've added to version 1.2 is the ability to manipulate the pulse duration and the frequency of the stimulation during play. We've decided to do this in a really dynamic live way so that every movement of the stimulator is going to change your pulse duration and is going to change your frequency in this specific new mode. So to access the mode, this is an extension of the tilt function that you're already familiar with. So you just scroll across to the tilt feature like so. And if you've played around with tilt before, you'll notice that the screen is quite different now. So whereas there used to just be one bar in each box, there's now two bars. And the bar on the left tells you about your pulse duration and the box on the right tells you about your frequency. So instead of affecting the stimulation by moving back and forwards like so, you can also manipulate the stimulation by twisting right and left. So this essentially means that you can rotate the stimulator around, as you can see, and different sensations are going to be produced by doing this. So you can kind of create your own patterns just by moving the stimulator around. And I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail now. So pulse duration is fairly self-explanatory. It's literally how long each pulse lasts for. So the longer the pulse, the more penetrating the stimulation is. So for example, when it's all the way up like so, on a level three, that is a much longer pulse, which means it's gonna feel more penetrating and more intense. As I mentioned, the other thing that's changed is that now you can control the frequency, which is represented by this bar on the right hand side of each section by twisting left to right. And you can control pulse duration and frequency all at the same time. So again, if you've played with Electrosex for a little while, you'll understand what frequency does. But effectively, this controls the smoothness of the stimulation. So changing the values like so can make it a more intense, more buzzy sensation. But the lower levels is much more rumbly tapping sensation. And the higher that your intensity levels are, this can actually feel like quite an intense punch. One of the easiest ways to think about pulse duration and frequency and what they mean for electrosex is to think about the pre-programmed patterns that we've got available. So your waves and your pulse sensations. Effectively, these are pulse duration and frequency manipulations that we've just preset. But say, for example, you want to create more of a heartbeat sensation, so a boom, boom you're going to want to lower the frequency down. So effectively, it means that you are creating your own patterns using this mode. And we've decided to keep this as a really dynamic procedure. So it is a live feed, effectively. Whatever you're doing will be communicated to your accessories. Now, you might think that you don't want the stimulator to be quite as responsive as mine, or you want it to be even more responsive. And we have built that in as well. So if you just head to your options and then you need to hit tilt damping. So effectively this smooths out the response. I have this set at 50 because I personally think this is more enjoyable, but you can lower this right down to zero. 
I'll show you what changes this makes. So then if we go back into tilt mode, you'll see now that every tiny move I make really affects the stimulation. So it's a lot more twitchy and it does mean that if you have any ideas for sort of power play, uh, perhaps keeping your sub still and any movement is going to change the stimulation, this is perfect. The inverse of this is that you can ramp the damping right up to the top, which goes up to 99. So then when you go back into your tilt mode by pressing the options button, you'll see that the response is much, much slower. Okay, so that just gives you an idea of how much you can manipulate the responsiveness of the tilt function on these new features. And there isn't an ideal particularly, this is purely down to personal preference. I like the damping set at 50 on both of the axes, but it is entirely down to you. With all of these new features, it is a case of just having a little play and experimenting with the type of stimulation that you like. So your mileage will vary for each individual person because we all have different tastes and different nerve endings. But this is just to show you exactly how it works and what it is doing in electrical terms. So thank you very much for joining me for another video. That was just an outline of what we're bringing in with the 1.2 update to Axis. Hopefully you'll all enjoy the new features that we've brought in and you've come up with some really cool play scenarios. So we'd love to hear from you about what you've been doing with the new update. You can contact us on Twitter at electrostim or drop us an email info at electrostim.com. For now, that's the end of this video. But if there's anything else that you would like to hear from us, then please do let us know. Thanks again. Bye-bye.